video number six, looking better than ever, looking very dark at only five o'clock in the evening, very cold also, but as you can see by there, I've got the ECU kit for the car. So we're going to be getting straight into tearing the interior apart even more than I have already and uh, hopefully switching over a few uh, different computers in the car and hopefully having a bit more luck with starting it. So I'll put you straight on to a time lapse. I know this is going to take a lot of time because it's just so fiddly in any interior of any car. So we'll just get straight into it. Let's go. I'm realizing my battery's dying pretty quickly and this is taking much longer than I expected so I'm gonna do little updates as I go on I think that's the best way to do this <laughs> see you in a bit Box are out steering wheel and uh, assembly are out um, I just need to get this uh, this little body control module out and then this sections done I just need to get the main ECU, which I believe is behind all of that, and then plug in that last ECU, and I think that's pretty much it. I just gotta change the lock over later on. I just wanna see if, it, if I can get anything working or started, so we'll hop straight back into this now. Very rare I'm in this position in a car. Um, I have to go. If you can imagine where I am, I'm underneath the glove box. I actually have to snip all of those little cable ties off the back of them and then release all the clips out of the back of that ECU. So, wish me luck. <laughs> easier on myself by taking the uh, glove box out. So, this should only take about two minutes instead of a thousand. So you take um, pictures of uh, which slots the wires go into just for reference if you do get uh, lost or forget which which one goes where. It's the most awkward thing in the world to get out. But it's done now. Back in there. Truth, I'm on 1%. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. That's in... I don't know what I've got. Service, all the same kind of lights. And I got the same again. But this time we should be able to connect it up to a computer. Ah well, you keep on trucking. Okay, so fast forward a couple of days. Um, basically, I finished doing the ECUs and the uh, the locks, etc., and the clocks, um, and then I'm obviously I didn't get it started, and then I gave um, I gave a call to uh, just a friend of the family, and he said fuel it. So I've just put in like twenty quid's worth of fuel in, and um, I'm having a problem with the starter relay, so. If I show you this now. So I've got the starter relay here. Normally it's got this casing on it, but that cracked in the actual uh, crash. So I took it off and um, you see here, if you push that contacts, so that just closes the circuit, if you know what I mean. So if I do that, I get obviously the engine to start. So I'm gonna, drop the car because I feel like it's um because I've got it on the jack stands I feel like um the fuel isn't getting to the engine as efficiently as it could so I'm gonna drop it and then I'm gonna start it 
and see what I got. do now is I'm gonna um I'm gonna stop and start well no not stop and start but um turn the key on and off a few times just to get the fuel pump to send fuel towards the engine because I've actually got um I put 20 pounds in so it's nearly full well wow. is that full looks like it's almost full anyway and um hopefully we'll have some luck with starting it so I'll just do that, bear with me. If you hear this now, you can hear the actual kind of vibration of the fuel pump. So I'll just turn on the, you can actually hear it out there. So I'm just trying to get fuel down there. That makes the most sense in my eyes. And then, use that relay to um, manually start the car. Does the same job as just turning the key. So I'm gonna need two hands for this. So I'm gonna put you on this tripod and I'll see what we can do. So I've left it in ignition, I believe. what we can get. I've just fully charged the batteries while using this charger pack. And I'm just gonna just gonna wedge it with a just, just make sure it's this and put it down the throttle body here intake make sure it only goes in there because it's highly flammable Going fuel. I think I've been filming upside down for that whole thing. But uh, this is the fuel rail. So this is the shrade of valve, I believe. And you can actually bleed the fuel. I'm gonna see if it's actually getting any fuel. Right there. That's fuel. So it's getting fuel. Clearly getting spark as it is. Um, it is turning over. So oh, fuel up. just bled that now. Should be starting 
as I am turning it over manually um, should be it realistically because so once I get the new relay in hmm question marks so I'm trying my best here um, I'm gonna actually give it one more go where I just leave the because I'm running out of juice probably in the battery um, for starting this so much it uses so much um, power so I'm gonna leave the starter relay in there I'm actually going to set my camera up on the tripod and I'm going to jump in the car because whenever I press the clutch in and turn the key, the fuel pump actually kicks in. So I'm going to try that from inside the car because I haven't tried that yet and see if we just get some sort of star. So wish me luck. So this is it from start to finish. If there's a fire, I'm seeing it first. I don't know if fire extinguisher, so it will burn to the ground. So. So it's not actually starting from the fuel system itself. So whenever I spray the, obviously the brake cleaner, which is flammable into the throttle body, um, gives it a bit of life. So, and I, I've obviously, you've seen me use the Schrader valve to see if there is fuel pressure. So I am lost at the moment. So if you could give me any advice in the comment section, just let me know. This is probably a shorter video. Because I, I, it did take me a long time just to figure what you've seen out. As I was, I was missing fuses in the fuse box for the fuel. Like uh, there was just so many different um, things wrong with the car and missing from the car. To get to this point has been a lengthy process, and it just takes days and days just to gather the little bits of information that you need when you're so new to this. So. Um, Sorry about the short. Just video. realized as I was editing this, I didn't film an outro, so I'll keep this short and sweet. Um, I'm really happy with the progress of the car, but really frustrated at the moment with um, just the lack of fuel getting to the car, uh, the engine. So hopefully we'll sort that out soon. I know it's just one like nugget of information away of being started, and we'll be we'll be on the road. But if you've made it this far in the video, I'd like to thank you so much for the support um, on my channel. Um, I just hit a thousand views on the first video, the co uh, the picking up and buying and picking up the uh, first project, which is obviously the Corsa. Uh, that's hit a thousand views. I'm literally three or four subscribers away from hitting a hundred, and I've genuinely only been doing this three months, recording off my iPhone. So fair play i should be quite proud of it like that it's just gone so quickly and i'm just trying to do as much as i can where i can around work and i've actually just um i've actually just got a new job at aston martin but i can't really go too much into it at the moment because i haven't signed my uh my forms and got a start date yet so hopefully i'll make an update video about that at some point but yeah lots and lots to come very shortly it's just getting colder and colder outside as well, so that, that's just that's just how I'm living at the moment. So thanks again for the support. Please go and like and subscribe to any of my videos. This video um, and follow me on Instagram. It's uh, I'll put it in the description, but it's T Ryan B underscore MFG. So yeah, thank you very much, and see you on the next one.